Um, this is one of their cards here, and um, I'm really impressed because this is the fanciest card of all the clubs. I'm a member at all the clubs pretty much here in BC, the, except the one up. Yeah, I know I'm pretty much a member at all of them, I think. But uh, anyway, this one here uh, is alone most color and most detail, and uh, you know provides pretty clear information, membership number, the date that uh, I was issued the card, first and last name. Um, their full address, phone number, website, um, it's a client card and it also says exactly what it's for and that's for marijuana and to, and to possess it and that they dispense it to them. So once again that's a medicinal uh, cannabis dispensary that, we've, uh, that we're going we're gonna to show here. It's, uh, it's very, uh, it was very interesting because, sorry not trying to seem like a stoner but once again it was an extremely long trip and we're just trying to feed in a little it takes a lot of editing to try and feed in this kind of uh these different little parts so please bear with my uh with my rambling at times but um yeah with it with the cannabis dispensary i was really impressed uh this is what i came out with and of course you'll get a chance to see what you what you go through it's a relatively simple process but uh, you know the people running it um, a really great bunch of people um, i can't say enough about them um, similar to the Green Cross, I mean, just a tremendous amount of respect. Uh, it was a very enlightening day, day, and it, it very much so felt as a community, um, going around and speaking to to these different people and uh, and seeing how they're in, in most parts working together, and uh, seeing that uh, that working in concert together um, against an entity um, is only logic over you know logic and reason that we're looking at. Um, as opposed to a bunch of different factions taking their own ideas because otherwise it's like a bunch of little stones bouncing off a big giant when you could just hit them with a big one over the back of the head um, and I believe that that's what we can do um, in concert together so it was really cool to go around and, and be uh, be met with such a, such a warm reception and uh, and no warmer than this place and, and of course some of my friends I had Mr. Neil Magnuson there and uh, him and I haven't had a chance to do our update video but we will be doing an update video to uh, to his most recent tour in which he caught a new case and he'll be updating you on his feelings around that it's quite interesting um, Neil's is a is, is a great inspiration for uh, for any activist out there that uh, wants to understand uh, the heart and the soul and uh, you know to get right into the trenches um, Neil's one of those kind of guys and, and uh, you'll see him briefly here in this video but uh, you'll see him in a future interview for sure and uh, I know I'm rambling a little bit but I, I really wanted to just give a shout out the, a lot of respect to this club check it out it doesn't take much to sign up and uh, it's just like any other club um, only as you can see in this video they have a lot of different kinds of cannabis and I tell you now I've tried it it burned clean, it, it smelled great, tasted great, the flavonoids and terpenes were there. You know, you could tell that they knew what they were doing with their product. And, uh, you know, it, they're making sure that it's safe. And that was the most important thing that I looked at from a medical end user standpoint. And it's a federal exemptee standpoint. And it's something the federal government can't even provide at this point. Um, they say it's safe, um, but I've smoked it and not been able to breathe the next day. Um, so it's, you know, it, it, you could probably grow it safely, but once they gamma radiated, I believe that there's something that happens to the trichome. But anyway, I also met Dory there, and uh, her and I had met online before. We had never actually really met face to face, so having met Dory, Dory decided she would jump in, and, and again, that's very courageous, and she, uh, she did an improv video here, and, and we go through the sign-up procedure, and we, do, we show you some of the, uh, some of the products. And uh, once again, great job, Dana. Great job to the crew over there. You guys are doing tremendous work, and I'm sure you're helping a lot of people. And uh, and I'm certainly proud to be member number 70 of the new cannabis dispensary in Vancouver. And uh, the medical, okay, the medicinal cannabis dispensary. This is Jason Wilcox, and this here is my friend Dory. Hi, Dory. Hi, Jason. I've downloaded your forms online. I am a federal exemptee and I came in to sign up in your club and uh, kind of find out a little bit more about you guys. Where did you get those forms? I actually downloaded them from your website. So for those online who may want to know how to get into the dispensary, and it's new here, it's now the third club or third club in, third club in Vancouver. So, you know, we're here to find out a little more, but I mean, it's pretty fantastic. You download the forms, code of conduct, standard for any place. I, I mean, I provide services at a, at a club. And uh, of course, a one-page simple application, and it's not very asking a lot of questions. That I don't feel are, are very unfair, of course. Cannabisdispensary.ca. We'll 
Thank you. And I'll certainly run that across the screen, as you can see at the bottom. And you'll see pictures of, uh, of other things that we'll put up. This is quite the club. Uh, my friend Neil has been, uh, been able to show me around uh, quite a bit of the club, and we can't show you everything, of course, like usual, but um, we're certainly going to show you some more. And um, we've been able to come in here and, uh, and learn quite a bit. Dory is, uh, is quite, a, a quite an informative lady when it comes to wanting to learn a little more about medicinal cannabis in the sense of the Medical Marijuana Access Division. I was quite surprised at how much she knew um, and, and it's just because we haven't met before, and I'm, I'm, I'm really intrigued every time I meet somebody that actually understands the regulations <laughs> and understands that these licenses do mean something, and it is important to have one because that is the only get out of jail free card. And um, I don't know, I'll let you take over for me, Dory. So. I have a card myself, so I've been through the process several times, and uh, renewing and changing addresses and getting a designated grower. So I've done a lot of the paperwork and helped others get their cards as well. So. This is a great job because I get to do that every day. Well, yeah, I can relate to that. It, it, it always feels good to be able to help people out. And it's just unfortunate that there's only 2,300 people in the, you know, in, in all of Canada. Yeah, that's licensed, and uh, you know, that's that's unfortunate. And, and, and by license, we mean that I actually have exemptions. See, it's very good that we have three clubs here in Vancouver. But I would like to also mention that it's unfortunate for our people who live in rural areas in BC that they don't have anywhere to go and that they have to rely, unfortunately, on, um, on buddy to buddy or, or word of buddy from buddy. And, and that can become a problem from the medicinal aspect. And uh, that's why I'm glad people are, are taking the front line stance and, uh, and doing stuff like we're doing here at the Medicinal Cannabis Dispensary. You know, I'm very, uh, very happy to become one of your newest member. What am I, number number? Number number 70. Number number 70, there you go. Lucky number seven. We haven't even been open two months yet, so things are rolling along nicely. Right on. Very pleased. Okay, and, and uh, yeah, is there, uh, so signing up, what else, is there anything else important? Um, you can explain well, to me your code of conduct if you'd like. Okay, well we have, um, Jason brought with him his application for registration and, um, and a code of conduct that we have all members sign. And it just has um, some things that our patients agree to, like not reselling the um, products that they purchase here. And we ask everybody to be polite when they're around, and that's not just to us, but to other patients that may be here. And um, to be responsible with your medicine and to make sure that you're not using it in a way that's offensive to other people. Um, being respectful of children and the area that you're in. Um, we'd like you to keep us informed about quality issues, if you're happy with the product or if you're dissatisfied with the product, you'd like to know about it. Um, we have a couple of cautions about um, impairment um, because there is the possibility of being impaired. It doesn't always happen, but there is the possibility of it, especially when you mix with alcohol. And we just like people to understand that. Um, we are big on harm reduction here, so we encourage people to not just smoke cannabis, but other products that are um, removing some of the harmful plant material. And uh, so that's why we offer hash and um, other products, um, bacon goods, for instance. Um, we ask people to be careful if they have any um, contagious diseases, to be careful about sharing their joints with others. Um, we caution people about um, blood pressure and uh, be careful about when you stand up because sometimes people get a little lightheaded. Absolutely, um, absolutely. Sorry, just on that note, it's just to kind of break the ice here for you. On that note, that's not a word of a lie. I've actually seen this. Kids have come out from Ontario or from Alberta to the university.